as far as like their archetypes go of characters, then I, I see what you're saying. Like, you know, play style, like it depends on the individual player, but as far as like their general archetypes of character go, yeah, they're pretty different. Danny is like sort of like I don't know how to say it, like more like a CQC, like in the beef type of fighter, like can typically be way, way more aggressive considering a lot of the tools that he has, which we'll get into momentarily. Ooh, we're already going in. Troco, he doesn't have time to let this sentence finish. That's what I'm saying. In. He's, that's what I'm saying. This character just mashes in your face. It's already been like 10 seconds. He's what, at 84? Yeah. This, this, is, this, is what, this is what Danny does, I should say, instead. As opposed to Jimmy, way more of like a set play slash like puppet character, if you would, in his design. And that's one of the new Danny things right there. How far his up B goes, you can now get some pretty crazy confirms out of strong forward air and even out of grab to be able to get those uh, slime uh, up B teleport, slime oh, cancel. It into the strong up air. He's gonna take stocks way earlier, and considering how Danny just got this change in this patch, y'all better get used to it, and y'all better get used to Troco. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dude, honestly, like, that buff in general is just is completely terrifying, especially if you already, like, are a character who just kind of struggles against Danny, uh, or, like, someone as, a, as just, like, a player you just don't understand how to get through Danny. It's gonna, it's gonna get a little bit harder. Uh, it's just things will happen like that. Man, it's definitely a very difficult thing to deal with, and I gotta say, this is a pretty interesting pick on the part of, uh, uh, Matt that they were able to eventually counterpick here. Yes, I know it's just the starters, and I know it's only game one, but if there's anything bad that I will say about Danny, it's that. It's the fact that he's one of, if not the lightest character in this entire game, and that is sort of, I guess, the developer's way of balancing him, if you would, like, all the crazy, aggressive, and, like, positive yes. buttons that he has. Oh, as he's no. dead oh again! Oh, my God! This is what I'm saying, man! He's the lightest character in the game! Come Come on, Scooter, he needs it. He needs it. He can't just see you to death, dude. That'd be cheating. Yeah, but if you if you hit him a few times, he dies. So I guess that is legitimately the developer's way of just sort of keeping Danny as balanced as he was. Definitely the winner of the recent patch, but enough about that, man. Jimmy is the one now having to sort of fight his way back from the depths of hell and Matt right now. And like you mentioned earlier, to deal with that against Danny, who a character who's on all parts of the screen at once and can also do that. I don't know if you saw that platform case in there right there to be able to keep oh these my on. God. What's a boy, what's a boy genius to do? Yeah, like there really isn't much. Like uh, Matt's just not really looking like he can do much of anything. He's getting a little bit <laughs> mollywhopped. No, you're not. You are not doing that. There's no way you're you're sending him inside the tube. I'm not. I'm not doing. It. Not not happening. Worst part about all that is that if he decided to not go for the super right there, he actually could have gotten another teleport spot cancel into the off strong. Although he seemed like maybe a little bit too close. Trying to make, oh okay, my yeah. god! Yeah, yeah, was... yeah, you're done. You're done. Yeah. You're done. That was such a crucial flub right there from Matt. Just Troco just completely flipping that script on its head. And uh, he's just gonna Yeah, he already that's already game one in the books. Like that's his character. He is just he is just non-stop, in-your-face action. This boy genius, man. He's looking, he's kind of looking like a ghost right now. I just, I just want to beat him up. I just want to hunt him and put him in my thermos. <laughs> my God. I swear to God, it's like, the, I, they buffed Danny, and now he thinks that every single other character in the game is also a ghost. And he's just, like, hunting them, because that's just what he does. My God, what a dominant showing in game one from Choco, man. And he's already one of the best Dannys to ever do it. Like you mentioned, he was pretty much indisputably the best one in the first game in NASB1. Yes, And absolutely. I guess nowadays they said, hey, you can't crash cancel anymore. So? Let's make his up <laughs> go halfway across the stage. But in all seriousness, enough memes. That is, with these buffs, it is such a terrifying thing to deal with because you have to be prepared for literal cross-stage pressure against a masher character, one that was already a masher character like Danny at this point, for the sole reason that that move goes as far as it does and also has a hitbox, which is not a common thing in too many platform fighters when it comes to actual teleport recoveries. So, buffs, nurse, whatever you want to call it, whatever you think should be done to Danny, that's enough. We're talking, this is the current patch, this is what we're dealing with right now. It's a whole different discussion as to what you think should, uh, should be done. Because what needs to be done right now is Matt needs to adapt somehow, some way, to be able to do anything against Troco right now. And we're going to see what he's going to be able to do on Harmonic Convergence. I kind of like this pick, but I'm more curious as to what you think, Scooter. Very interesting indeed. Um, I'm not, not too sure, honestly, because it's like, you know, I don't know if it's like, um, like, larger, like, I don't know, like, size comparison wise compared to like food dreams i don't know if it is better or worse when it comes to, like the spacing but it's just like uh 
I don't know, we're, good, we're just still gonna see more of the same thing, more or less, from both. Uh, especially, like, how much pressure Tropo could dish out, but right now, uh, definitely looking a lot more even in the stocks. Uh, Matt may be realizing, you know, maybe, uh, oh, try to get off stage. Yeah. I, okay, you know, trade? Oh, I bad trade for Matt right there. Yeah, it's not what you want, man. That back air is something else, man. Another crazy thing about Danny is the fact that he has three moves that are completely different attacks, but they look exactly the same. Yeah, that's a problem. Ooh. Back air, dash attack, and the down Get out of here. Yeah, that's actually, I was going to mention before I could even do it while we were talking about Danny. I think that's actually one reason that I think uh, that Matt decided to go here. It's because it's another big stage, which I feel like he would want against Danny, so he doesn't have to deal with the impression session of his buses and his back air cancels. But the platform layout on this stage, I think is way better for Jimmy. The platform heights, especially the tall ones, are going to be really, really easy to wave land on. So if Jimmy's going to be able to, like, just sort of catch Troco's aggression, if you would, with up tilt, because you can if you face them properly, I should say. That's gonna be perfect Whoa. positioning on those platforms the to be burst. able to get Jimmy's kill confirms, but that's not even gonna matter if Troko's just not gonna let him play the game the whole time, Scooter. Yeah, it's gonna be... Oh, this is dog rough. And that's... Forest Arrow's just gonna take it, alright. Like, if it works, it works. Oh my god, this pressure coming out from Troko. Alright, Matt firing back with these up airs. Tries to fire the toaster and misses. Get the, the get the slime cancel. Oh. Yeah, stage control I feel like should be a big name of the game here when it comes to that. Unfortunately, it's not going to matter as much considering that he is the one who's down a stock and therefore Drogo's the one who can oh, afford to just like, watch his approaches a little bit better. But once he's in, I feel like the platform layout should really help him get some pretty clean confirms, but it's not going to matter with the way that Drogo is moving right now. That stage layout just does not matter in the slightest. And Danny can just be on all parts of the stages at once. All right. But he's really light. He's really light, Scooter. He dies right there. Yeah. He, it's he, it, you know, that evens it out. Yes. All right. Gets the Nair. Really trying to play around uh, any of Jimmy's tools. Doing a really good job. Oh, forward air. One more. Oh, slime dash. Ooh. Gonna miss oh. that toast. That's unfortunate. Really, I, lo really I love, I love, yeah, that was a very nice attempt, but not quite gonna sit out that combo. But it, it just gives pl Troco plenty of, ooh, okay. <laughs> that was a trade. I think if he kept holding away that that, um, I think if he kept holding away that that, uh, Slime Dash forward air was actually gonna kill oh. Danny right there, especially considering how light he is, so utilizing the Slime Dash of his own to be able to make his way above it was so smart. I remember Cherry said that he thinks, uh, uh, slime dashing or slime air dashing is the future. And the more I, the more this game goes on, and the more players I do do it, I kind of couldn't agree more, man. The kill confirms, like the crazy and aggro aggressive options, as well as the defensive ones as well, man. You know, he did a slime dash, and then Troco did his own slime dash to avoid it's it. It's such an uncomfortable. It's such an uncomfortable spot. For you're done. You're dead there. He is no, he's not. Oh, the corner! Get a kill right off the top, and suddenly even stops, but not even. And it's anyone. I think it's anyone's game. Like, if, if Matt could just get one opening, maybe he could make something happen. But Danny is so close. Just one good, strong hit. Area or otherwise will take this. Making me need my words. The blast zones of harmonic convergence coming in clutch for Matt right there. Getting a second lead on life. Goddard is out. It's going to be an up strong on Goddard. Not enough to kill a fresh oh, one. Can we wait. get one more? Okay. Just barely missing. Troco escaping the clutches of death. Oh, down tilt. Oh, no. The ghostly whale's going to pilfer that entire stock away, and he takes the game. That's what happens when you go up against the, the slime ghost. dash to ensure that he reached up there, too. You know, so many lower-level Danny players, they wouldn't have been able to get up there as fast because they don't have slime dashing in their, in their repertoire already. This is what I'm talking about. It's the future, baby. Going to be able to get that confirmed from anywhere, and the up just with the distance that it can cover. Ugh. Took away the yep. burst. This Man, is that's the... so unfortunate. The, the, this is the, you know, the, what, what do you want us to say? You may not like it, but... This is the future. You're looking at it.